Anybody there? Hey ladies, welcome back to my channel. Today I want to share with you how you can get the most for the least. I'm going to show you how you can get these highlights using only 12 foils. Now this is perfect for you if you are new to color, you don't want to commit to a full head, but you can go as light or as dark as you would like. I decided to go with this golden warm tresses, honey. So let's get into this. The hair I'm using is from Her Hair Company and I have gotten four bundles and a closure, two 22s, a 20 and 18 plus a 16 inch closure. And this hair is their Brazilian wavy hair. I have to say the wave is pretty bomb and it actually holds up after it's washed. So I made this into a unit. Comment below if you'd like an in-depth video on how I made this into a wig. But today we're gonna focus on la couleur. Y'all, closures, I mean frontals are great but don't sleep on a traditional closure wig, okay? I still have fun with them. <laughs> so for this color pattern, you're gonna be working with three sections, and the first section is gonna be the closure at the top. So you're gonna take a section about two inches wide, and you're gonna section that off from the front of the head. Then you're gonna move on to the sides, and you are going to take an angled section. Now, you're not gonna be using all of this hair, this is just the area that you're gonna be working on. Then you're gonna do the same thing on the other side. And then we're gonna take all that hair in the back and we're gonna throw it up into a ponytail, get it out of the way, because we ain't messing with any of that. So we're really focusing on the hair that is around the face. So when you highlight the hair that's framing your face, you're gonna create the illusion that you have way more color than you actually do. <laughs> Stay tricking them. For products, I'm using my favorites, the Shorescoff Blonde Me Bleach with the Blue Additive and 30 Volume Developer. That blue additive is gonna go in and bleach and tone at the same time. That way the hair will be more of a golden color as opposed to an orange color. The first section we're gonna start with will be the closure. So that two inch section is gonna have three foils in total. So you can kinda do subsections. You're gonna take out that first section, weave it, Back comb it as I've shown you in the other bleaching video and then you're gonna apply your bleach. Now you're not gonna go all the way up to the hair, you're gonna stop where your back combing begins. So the reason I back comb is because it allows to have smooth transitions. You're not gonna have these harsh lines, you're not gonna have hair that's um, colored straight to the roots. So that way you're gonna have just more of a soft transition. Okay, so when you're done that section, you should have three foils with a lot of little hairs left in between. Then you're gonna move on to your next section. Now, it's really important that you don't go uh, horizontally or vertically. We wanna go on a diagonal, and that's gonna allow the hair to, again, appear like there's way more color happening because when it goes back, you're gonna see that color. It's just gonna flow really nicely, whereas straight down is gonna look horrible, and straight across is gonna look weird. So angle, darling angled your first angled section weave it out back comb it apply your bleach and continue so you're going to put about four foils on each side of your head and when you're done this is what she should look like so you've got three in the middle and four on each side then I let this process for 30 minutes. Now, if you would like a color that is not as bright, then you can process it for less time. Just keep an eye on it, open up the foils, check and see if it's the desired color. Once your processing time is done, it's time to take her down and wash her out. Spray a little leave-in conditioner. Equave is always mine of choice brush her out, and you guys, I have to say that I was so impressed with the way this hair kept its wave. There's so many body waves that I've used that like you wash them and you're like, oh, well, where's the wave go? But look at this one. If you scrunch it up, you get even more. So I decided to just let this bad boy air dry. Let's slap her on and let's get her customized. Looking like a wet, hot piece of trailer park trash. So I wet it down and now I'm just blow drying it all out so that it lays nice and flat before I tweeze it and uh, curl it up, honey.
And here I'm just going to use a black eyeliner and color these secrets on the frontal. I'm, why do I keep calling this the frontal? It's a closure, damn it. It's a closure, all those frontals lately. Okay, closure. <laughs> Et voila. There you have it, honey, this color. Now, if you wanna know how I achieved these delicious waves, then you better hit that subscribe button because I'll have another video coming up and you wanna know when it's posted. All right, guys, that is all for today. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. I love you to pieces.